All right, traders, today is October 30th, 2023. My name is John Kerrigan. We're going to do the BYOB. It's the Be Your Own Boss market wrap up. Let's go take a look at some charts. All right, first chart we're going to look at is the SPY. Let's blow that up for a minute here. Let's go to the daily. So, got ourselves a little bounce off of this anchored VWAP. That anchored VWAP starts on the October 18th low, or the October 13th low right there last year. So about one year ago, that's the anchored VWAP that we bounced off of. And you can see we came right back into that downtrend line right there. See this downtrend line? We came right back to the downtrend line right there. Okay, so we put in, it says we put in a lower low. I think that was a, um, I think that was a wild print right there. Because I don't think we got, I don't think we got anywhere near 408 today. All right, so we went up, we made a higher high. So I think actually is a higher low and a higher high. But irregardless, still in the downtrend, lower highs and lower lows. It's just today's candle was a higher high and a higher low. So what do we got? Let's see if we got a 15-minute uptrend. All right, so let's back off here. Yeah, here's the, here's the wild print. That didn't even happen, okay? So we got a higher low here, and we produced a higher high. So we have a 15-minute uptrend. Do we have an hourly uptrend? Not yet. Okay, we have a 15-minute uptrend right so far. That's all we got. All right, now if we go back out to the 10th, 10-minute 10 chart, and we'll look at the VWAP here. There's, I think it's on this one. Yep, there it is. Okay, so here's the anchored VWAP off the last low. And I thought that would be a target today. It's still early. Uh, still, it's not early. It's late. Still got 10 minutes to go. They may want to hit it up here. This is about uh, 417 right there. But you can see uh, the downtrend line kind of gave price a little smackdown. In addition to the downtrend line, we also have a 200 period on the 10 minute chart, kind of giving price a little speed bump right there. So we'll see what happens going into the close, but that's what we're dealing with right now in the markets. But all in all, not a bad day for the bulls making a higher high, higher low. All right, so looking for the pullback to the T line, didn't quite make it yet. Uh, T line's located probably about 418. 75 right about there so we'll see what happens there's the SPY now let's go look at QQQ QQQ had an inside day yesterday and today making a higher low and a higher high so nice job on QQQ <clears throat> still in a downtrend lower highs and lower lows all right QQQ I'll bet FNGU looks the same as QQQ. Bet your bottom dollar. All right, higher high, higher low. All right, so we got on the chart, daily chart, still in a daily downtrend, lower highs and lower lows. The daily candle, higher high, higher low. But daily chart, lower highs, lower lows. All right. So daily chart kind of pulling back to, well, almost the T-line there right, right now. So we'll see what happens. So you can see uh, FNGU bouncing off the 200 SMA right there. Can you see that? Rising SMA, first time it hits, rising 200, and boom. Like a red rubber school ball hitting the concrete. Here comes the bounce. All right, so there's FNGU. All right, so now let's take a look at IWM. IWM, ooh, nothing pretty here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 
equal low, equal high, just a big doji day. The only thing good looking is the fact that it's a doji. That means it's likely to be a pause. But that doesn't mean that they won't stop selling and it doesn't mean they're going to start buying either. So IWM in any, actually we'll just call it an inside day because probably spent most of its day right here at the 3 AMA. On the daily time frame, lower highs, lower lows. Uh, on the on the daily, uh, just for the intraday, looks like we had an inside day, mostly. IWM, still in a daily downtrend. Okay, nothing, nothing good to report there, other than the doji. Diamond Dow, making a higher low and a higher high, right here, just on the daily candle, that's all. Don't get excited, all right? On the daily time frame, lower highs and lower lows, still in a downtrend, all right? Everything's still in a downtrend. Nothing's changed yet. All we got is a few 15-minute uptrends going on. Here's a 15-minute uptrend with a lower high and a, not even not even made the higher low yet, unless you want to count that as the higher low. And QQQ. See what QQQ did. Yeah, higher low and higher high. So QQQ, FNGU, SPY. Let me see. SPY. Yeah, SPY making a higher low and a higher high. So that's it. Just 15 minute uptrends. Nothing really to, you know, write home about. Just got a little 15 minute pullback. That's all we got. Everything's still in a downtrend. All right, so now let's go back to, let's go take a look at IW, IYT, transports. Ooh, look at the transports, doing the stuff. Okay, so here's the transports, putting in a higher low and a higher high. Nice move on the transports. Look at the daily candle. Daily candle does a bullish engulfing. Nice move. Diamond Dow did a bullish engulfing too. Still way underneath the trend indicator. You know, uh, it's just one candle. Unless we see follow through, there's really nothing to see here. All right. On the daily chart, lower highs and lower lows still. On the daily candle, higher high and higher low. Still underneath the trend indicator. Price action three and the eight, that's a T line. Still underneath the trend indicator, IYT. XLF. Here's our financials. Doing the bullish engulfing dance too. All right, nice to see. On the daily candle, a higher low and a higher high. On the daily chart, lower high, lower low. Still in a downtrend. Nothing to write home about other than the bounce. Looking for follow through on all these big green um, bullish engulfing candles come tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. That's XLF. Now let's take a look at SMH. SMH. What a disappointment on SMH. Here's the rising 200. And the SMH could not give us a bounce. You know, it's the semiconductors. You know, the internet's been known to be a little slow sometimes. Maybe the bounce is coming tomorrow. That's all I can hope for. All right. So on the daily candle, we got an equal high and a lower low. So nothing, nothing really pretty there yet. Okay. For the daily candle on the daily chart. Lower highs, lower lows, all right? Smacking the rise in 200. You'd think we'd get that red rubber school ball bounce. Not seeing it. Might be coming tomorrow. We'll see. Oh, my gosh. Now it turned from green to red. That can't be good. All right. So we're done with the semiconductors. That's the consolidation from the bullish flag. And the falling out of the consolidation. All right, maybe tomorrow will be the day. We'll see what happens tomorrow. There's SMH, XL. Okay, we did the financials. Let's go take a look at USO. All right, here's USO, still consolidating over 74. Move up, higher low, higher low, higher high. Daily candle, lower high, lower low. 
All right, just still consolidating over 74. I can see this rolling out probably until we eat turkey later this year. We'll see what happens. All right, so that's it right there for USO. UNG, harsh pullback today in UNG. All right, I'm going to have to take this to a new level. I'm gonna, you know what? We'll come back to UNG. We're going to come back to UNG. Let's do silver. All right, here's silver. Uh, getting walloped on the, the 200. It's a flat 200. Gapped up today, traded back down through the 200. All right, silver producing the higher low right here. Still needs to make the higher high. Hasn't made it yet. A little bit of work to do. And if we look at this with the channel, it's still in a downtrend. Lower highs, lower lows. All right, still haven't made that higher high yet. And we could have an uptrend probably in a day if we could break that high. Right there, we could have an uptrend. So there we go. So this silver in the consolidation channel. Gold. Take a look at gold. Gold, last two weeks has been a rocket ship. A regular SpaceX, Elon Musk rocket ship. All right, so here's gold. Not quite in an uptrend, but probably in an hourly uptrend at least, but not on the daily chart. Still looking for that pullback higher low on the daily candle. Uh, just an inside day. All right, still like to see this settle back and hit the minor support right there at 180. All right, so we'll see what happens. But gold is on an Elon Musk SpaceX rocket ship right now. All right, price action, the three, the eight, everything way over trendicator. Slamming through the 200 SMA right there. All right, so gold really looking strong right now. Okay, let's go a little bit back and let's find UNG. All right, we're going to pick a different chart. This is our 200 SmackDown right here on the daily. All right, so we got a SmackDown last two weeks ago. <clears throat> Earlier in the month, now we're getting a SmackDown again from the falling 200. So let's go pick another chart because we don't like the way that one looks. And here we are on daily. All right, so here's our daily. All right, we made a higher low and a higher high. We made a higher low, haven't made the higher high yet. Kind of struggling, if you ask me. All right, so here we are. We come down here for the daily candle, lower high, lower low. Not good. Way past the midpoint of this pop right there. So that's not good. All right, so we'll see what happens with UNG. All right, so we got a higher low. We're in a daily uptrend, but you can see the price action is below the trend indicator and below this last high, way below this last high, almost closer to this low. So not good for UNG, but still in a daily uptrend with higher lows and higher highs. It's just got a lot of work to do to beat that $8 high up there. Okay, so there's UNG. All right, let's take a look at US dollar index. All right, US dollar index still consolidating over 105.50. Uh, big red day down. That's good for the markets. Needed to come down to this 200. We'll see what happens. Still consolidating 105.50. <clears throat> Economic calendar. Did I erase all of those? No. All right. So the big day. All right. This is the, the highlight of the week is the FOMC statement at 2 p.m. Uh, along with the presser at 2.30. That's on Wednesday. All right. All this week, we're looking at employment. Employment, unemployment, jobless claims, you name it. Any which way you want to twist employment, they're looking at it this week. All right, there's data coming out. Consumer confidence tomorrow at 10. Uh, Chicago PMI, 9.45. You got to watch those Chicago boys. All right, 
Treasury refunding announcement. I don't know if they can do that. We'll see what happens there. And that's it, really. Tomorrow is the Chicago PMI. Uh, some more employment. And then the consumer confidence at 10 o'clock. All right? And the highlight of the week is the FOMC on Wednesday, 2 p.m. All right, so for, for earnings, Let's see if I can get this to work. Come on, baby. All right, for earnings today, HSBC, three quarters of a trillion dollars. Uh, don't know how they did, but they reported earlier this morning. Okay, tomorrow on Spooky Halloween, Pfizer, as if that's not scary enough, just stay in the name, Pfizer, all right? Pfizer's going to report on Halloween. Uh, only uh, $175 billion, all right? AMD is going to report in the evening, $151 billion, all right? Amgen's going to report. No, I don't want to sue the survey. Amgen's going to report $144 billion in the morning. Caterpillar, Earth Mover, right there, $123 billion. BP, British Petroleum, they're going to report in the morning $110 billion. And then we got Anheuser-Busch, almost $100 billion. All right, so probably a trillion dollars of market cap right there going to report tomorrow sometime so we'll see what happens so big day tomorrow much better than today today a lot of a lot of reports but mostly small cap mid cap really mid cap mickey d's reported today that's it all right traders that's it all right, I'll see everybody. We made some money today. Wish you guys would have taken some uh, AMC. Here's AMC. All right, AMC is in an uptrend. Just stay in it. All right, see that? That's an uptrend, 30 minute uptrend. Hourly chart, almost an hourly uptrend. Okay, on the daily chart, what do we got? Zoom in here on the daily chart. Come on. Daily chart, consolidation. Looks like we've got a consolidation breakout happening right here. All right. Nice consolidation. Nice green BOP over 50. Looking good. All right. This thing could get back to 15, maybe 20, probably even 30. Way up here. It's smooth sailing all the way up until actually 32. Whole lot of gap filling to do too. When this thing gets going, it's gonna rock and roll. So we'll see what happens. So I took some AMC today. And some of my other accounts did pretty good. Picked it up right over 966 on the pullback. All right, thanks Robert. Thanks Maureen. All right, everybody have a wonderful evening. Spies, get some uh, SPY, QQQ, FNGU in 15-minute uptrends. We'll see how long they last. All right, everybody have a beautiful evening. I'll see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock in the morning, and we'll do it again.